What is going on guys, Cameron here. Welcome back to the channel once again. Big, big video for you guys today, so stay tuned. You guys don't wanna miss it. Especially if you're on a low-end PC, this video is gonna help you out a ton. And guys, we're gonna be moving really quick in this video because there's 10 whole tips I have to cover. If you do every single one of these tips, you could probably double or even triple your FPS in Fortnite easily. So if you guys watch every single tip in this video, I guarantee there's gonna be something you didn't know about that's gonna help boost your FPS because believe me a week or two ago I didn't even know about half of these things also guys there's going to be timestamps throughout the entire video so at any point you guys can skip through if you already know a step just skip to the next step and carry on throughout the whole video because like I mentioned there's going to be stuff you just didn't even know about one last thing I just wanted to mention is thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel you guys have recently blown up my analytics I'm getting 10,000 plus views a day and we just smashed 5,000 subs and are climbing quickly to 6k so really appreciate that once again you guys are amazing so guys tip number one is fortnite settings now a lot of you guys have already been well versed in fortnite settings if you guys didn't know there's actually a mode called performance mode if you guys need the best fps possible the best performance highly recommend turning on performance mode it's included in everybody's computer free in fortnite you just go down here to rendering mode make sure to turn it to performance mode alpha this is going to already by itself boost your performance greatly in fortnite after you guys have that selected a lot of things will be grayed out here just make sure you turn your view distance down to like far and make sure that you have uh, meshes on low unless you're on a bit of a higher spec pc go ahead and turn meshes on on high because what this will do is give you better looking builds they're called the bubble wrap builds as opposed to when it's on low those are the mobile looking builds but if you have it on low it can give you an extra 20 30 fps in game so it might be worthwhile other than that guys just make sure you have v-sync off v-sync really is not helpful so just have it turned off and then you can make sure that your 3d resolution is on 100 percent Otherwise, you'll look like you're in an 8-bit video game if it's anything lower. So a lot of people don't know, but you can actually optimize Epic Games Launcher to work better and perform faster for Fortnite. To do that, you're going to want to click the library, go to these three dots here underneath Epic Games Launcher, and then you're going to go down to verify. So a lot of people don't know this, but what this will do is it'll update Fortnite, and if there's any game errors in it, it'll actually update them for you, and you can actually fix your game and allow it to run quicker. The next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is click those three little dots again and then go over options what this will do is pull up all the installation options it's all the game settings and files associated with fortnite if you have saved the world in high resolution textures you can uncheck them for even faster performance when you're playing fortnite if you have anything on your system that is malware or virus related this actually can affect your performance so you could either use a vast or norton or in this case what i use is malware bytes and what these applications do is they'll just automatically scan and remove any threats on your computer so as you can see here i went ahead and just scanned the entire system and we didn't find a single threat out of three 300,000 items scanned so we're chilling so moving on to the next step guys is going to make sure that your windows 10 is actually optimized properly for fortnite a lot of people don't know this but you can actually update your game settings in windows 10 to make your pc perform even better one of those settings guys is coming down here to the search icon and typing in game mode what this will pull up is the game mode setting here at the top. So a lot of people don't know about this, but by default, Windows has your game mode turned off. So what you'll want to do is actually turn that on. And what Windows does when you actually have this on is it'll optimize your PC for play and can actually increase your FPS. Another great tip is to optimize Windows 10 for Fortnite. So to do that, you're going to click this search button. You're going to type in graphics settings. You'll see it here at the top. So go ahead and click that. Once you do that, you'll get this screen here. It'll say classic app or universal. Make sure you select classic app and then click browse. When you go ahead and browse, we're gonna search for Fortnite. So just type it up here at the top. Once you do that, look for Fortnite in here. You can just select it. And what this will do is bring up this little bubble here. It may not show the Fortnite icon. That's okay if it doesn't. Click options and you're gonna wanna make sure you select high performance. 
This will give even better performance to your Fortnite game when you're playing. The next thing you can do guys is download a free FPS booster like Gamefire or Smart Game Booster or Razer Cortex. Um, there's actually quite a few of them out there that you guys can download for free and test out. You can get anywhere from a 25% FPS booster while you have these applications open. And the really cool thing is after you download them, if you just right click on Fortnite, you'll get the option to run with the smart game booster right here. And that'll automatically, like I mentioned, boost your FPS like an extra 25%, which is awesome. If you guys want to see me test out three of them, go ahead and check out the video in the description. I'll have a link to it. It's actually a pretty insightful video. The next thing I want to offer for you guys is using some type of network optimizing software. That could be something like Exit Lag or my affiliate that I'm partnered with, NoPing. Link to that in the description, by the way. You can get a 10 day free trial. It's a great software. Aside from no ping offering basically non-existent ping, which is awesome, you don't get any lag, you can also come up here to the top right, there's a little gear, and when you click on that, there's an actually option here where you can boost your FPS even further. This will basically give an FPS boost to any game you play, like Fortnite, which is super cool. Included at no cost, by the way. The next thing that can actually boost your FPS quite a lot that is really slept on is to delete or remove any files or applications you haven't used in a long time. This can either be like old gameplay you haven't used in quite a while. Also, what you can do is come down here to this little search icon, type in applications and you'll get this option here. It says add or remove programs. So select that. What I would do guys is just to quickly look through all your different applications. If there's any in here that you just don't recognize or have never used in like ever, just go ahead and uninstall them because this will actually make your systems run even quicker and can help speed up your PC considerably. Another really smart step guys is to come down here in the bottom left of the search icon and we're gonna open up background apps. And what I would do is when you open this, make sure everything is off that you don't need while you're playing Fortnite. The reason being is it can actually slow down your PC having multiple services going at once. So I have everything off by uh, except for NVIDIA control panel. The next thing you guys are going to want to do is do the exact same thing, but this time for startup apps. So you're just going to type in startup and then open up startup apps. And I would just turn off anything that isn't related to Fortnite or that you don't need. Um, the only thing I have is my audio drivers and Epic Games Launcher on here. And that can actually also speed up your computer. The next thing I would recommend guys is actually taking a look at your Nvidia control panel settings. If you haven't done this, this is just a really smart thing to do every now and then and look for ways you can actually tweak your performance. One of those options is coming over here to adjust image settings with preview. And by default, this is on let the 3D application decide, but you'll want to choose the option for use my preference, emphasizing, and slide it all the way to the left for performance. This will actually put performance over quality, meaning that when you're playing games, it actually will just show the image quicker, easier, better, and um, instead of just making it more detailed, which is what you have on quality. So performance is the way to go. There's a bunch of other settings involved with the NVIDIA control panel, but because of this video being 10 tips, I'm just gonna keep it at that, but definitely feel free to check a link in the description if you guys wanna know how to set up your control panel. For the very last tip, this one is also really slept on, but it should be done, is go ahead and update your CPU and your graphics card. Um, if you know what the what they're called, for instance, I have a Ryzen 3700X. Search whatever your CPU is on Google followed by the word drivers and it'll lead you to where you need to go to um, update and download the latest drivers. I'm gonna do that right now for my CPU. You can actually do the exact same thing for your graphics card, guys. Just go to nvidia.com or amd.com, search for your graphics card, and then once you find it, just go ahead and download the necessary drivers. This can speed up your computer in some cases. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I love making these guide update videos for you guys. I hope that you guys were able to learn something or take something away from this video. Um, but yeah, I hope this also made your lower end PCs a really nice higher end PC with all these updates and settings we did today. But as always guys, it's your guy Cameron. Hope you guys have an awesome day and peace out for now.